know that as we grow, the hurdles will be more. Each time we are washed away, we bounce back to the shore. We know we lead the way, keeping odds at bay. See the sunrise tomorrow, inspire the world to follow. So we were discussing electrical machine one and our topic was DC machine. Today we will discuss compensating winding first and then if time permits then we will discuss the interpol. Okay. So the objective of today's class to become familiar with function of compensating winding and interpol of DC machine. So let's start lecture number six on compensating winding and interpol. So this is the section of DC machine illustrating the arrangement of various field winding. So if you see, so you see this is the this is the compensating winding. Now why this compensating winding is basically used this is basically used to nullify the cross magnetizing effect of cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction by using by using this compensating winding we neutralize this compensating winding which is basically provided on the main pole face of a DC machine. So compensating winding is basically used in main pole shoes, pole faces. We use this compensating winding or rather we arrange this winding in the main pole shoe to nullify the effect of cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction. So this is whether it is a compensating winding or it is a interpole both are used to minimize the undesirable effect of armature reaction. So what are that undesirable effect? The undesirable effect is sparking on the brushes that we have discussed. And this sparking of brushes is detrimental for DC machine. So we should take necessary step to minimize the effect of this armature reaction. Now, how we can minimize the effect of armature reaction that we have discussed when we have discussed about armature reaction that we can shift the brushes to the new position of the magnetic neutral plane and shifting of brushes to the advanced position that is in the new MNA does not completely solve the problem of armature reaction. Why? The effect of armature reaction is solely dependent on the load current. So each time this load current varies, the neutral plane shifts. This means the brass position must have to change each time the load current varies. Okay. But this is possible in case of small generator to mechanically shifting this position of brass each time MNA shifted to new position. But we should remember that the practice of shifting the brass position for each current variation is only limited for small generator. In case of large DC machine such as turbo generator 
motor of rolling mills, colliery winding, etc., which is normally subjected to very violent fluctuation of load. So, colliery winding. Colliery winding, turbo generator, so these are basically subject to a large fluctuation of load current and if there is a sudden change in the load, what will happen? It will produce sudden change in the flux, so sudden change in load. result in sudden change in in flux that is set up by armature current now what will happen this in turns will cause a statically induced emf so this will result and induction of statically induced EMF in the armature coil and the magnitude of this EMF will depends upon the rate of change of flux and will be very high if change is change in load is larger for large larger change in sorry in load and if the change is taking place almost instantaneously okay so for larger generator we have to think something else and the solution is use of compensating winding or interpoles okay now the cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction which cause trouble in the dc machine which is the effect of large fluctuation of load now in order to neutralize this cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction what we do we use a series of coil which is embedded in the slots in the main pole faces which i have shown in the figure so a series of coil is used in the slots of the main pole faces and which is connected in series with the armature so this series connected compensating winding which carry the same current so when this magnetic field will produce so it is directly the result of the change in armature current now because of this compensating winding are on to produce a field and the motto of the production of this field is to oppose the magnetic field of the armature so that they can cancel the magnetizing effect of armature magnetic field Now the neutral plane remain fixed stationary in case of larger machine because in case of small machine mechanically we can shift the brushes with the change of load with the change of new position of MNA but which is not feasible in case of larger machine. So in case of larger machine the neutral plane remains stationary and the original position for all values of armature current because of this once the brush have set correctly they are also fixed so compensating winding which is basically series connected in the main pole faces is a few turns of low resistance copper bar okay and it is so connected that it carry the current in the reverse direction to that of the immediately 
adjacent armature conductor so this is the point you should remember it 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 for it carry the current in the reverse direction to the immediately adjacent armature conductor so you see in the more main pole faces this compensating winding is used okay so as this compensating winding carry the current in reverse direction the field which is produced by this compensating winding it opposes the field set up by the armature reaction because they carry the current equal to the armature current okay so what it will result that compensating winding is wide in comparison with the commutating field but weaker since the flux is less concentrated okay the effect of two winding acting in conjunction is to neutralize completely the effect of armature reaction respect to the shifting of neutral plane and to eliminate almost completely distorting effect so as the commutating sorry compensating winding is produce a weaker field so for larger machine to completely nullify the effect of cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction we use simultaneously compensating winding as well as commutating poles interpoles to completely eliminate the distorting effect now this compensating winding mf neutralizes the armature mmf only under the pole faces so this is only nullify the armature mmf which produce under pole faces because in pole faces this compensating winding is connected okay and as it has to produce the same effect of the armature reaction that's why it is connected in series with the armature winding so that they can oppose each other compensating mmf and armature mmf should oppose each other so one more thing we should remember that uh, provision of compensating winding require additional phase in the main pole faces and also it is made of copper bar so it involves cost larger cost so that's why in case of smaller machine we do not use this compensating winding or the interpole rather we use this compensating winding in case of larger machine okay so that's how it ensure the neutral plane will remain in its fixed position throughout the entire range of load and speed of the machine and in case of motor in both direction of the rotation now good commutation is thus affected with the brass located in fixed position so this is the concept basic concept of compensating winding that is this winding is placed in the main pole faces and it is connected in series so that same armature current flow through this compensating winding so that the field produced by this compensating winding is produce the exact opposite effect that than the armature mmf and why because the current which is flowing through the compensating winding it is flow in the reverse direction in 
comparison to the adjacent armature conductor so that's how this compensating winding works now as this compensating winding is very less number of turn and it's produce very less flux so for larger machine it is not possible for compensating winding alone to nullify the total cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction so that's why in case of larger machine in addition to compensating winding we also use the inter poles okay now we will discuss the concept of inter pole okay so let's start the discussion of inter pole okay. to reduce the effect of armature reaction is to place small auxiliary poles which is called interpoles between the main field poles so interpole are basically placed midway of the main pole this is basically a narrow pole this is basically a narrow pole which is attached to the stator yoke and which is placed midway of the main pole and this interpole is also known as commutating pole or com pole okay and this interpole have a very few turns of large wire and which is connected in series with the armature so that the interpole must produce flux which is proportional to the armature current so that both the armature mmf as well as interpole mmf affect simultaneously with the armature current okay this commutating pole and interpole name arises because of their relative position to the main poles and this is consist of a series of small poles similar to the main field poles in construction and method of fashioning but having a winding that consists of few turns of heavy copper bar with high current capacity and low resistance so you should keep that in mind that the interpole winding has three characteristics it is few turn it has high current capacity and it has low resistance okay so this is the basics of interpole now if you see in the figure you see this is this is the main pole 
and the interpol is placed in midway between field winding along the magnetic neutral axis or brass axis okay now the armature flux in the commutating zone what is its function it tends to shift the magnetic neutral axis for sparkless spark less commutation we will shift the magnetic neutral axis okay which neutralize by an appropriate component of interpolar flux that means due to armature reaction what happen the magnetic neutral axis rotate in this direction so my function is to produce same effect so that it can interpolar axis can produce the field so that it can exactly oppo rotate the magnetic neutral axis in same angle in the opposite direction so if these two remain equal to each other then the magnetic neutral axis remain fixed to this axis it will remain stationary and that's why in case of large machine the neutral plane fixed in position regardless of the load now this interpolar must induced a voltage in the conductor undergoing commutation that is opposite to the voltage caused by neutral plane shift and reactance voltage so whatever flux is producing due to the flow of armature current through the interpol it must produce an emf which is opposite to the reactance voltage and that's why this is connected in series with the armature so when the load get changed the armature current changed the detrimental effect happens to the dc machine due to armature reaction the same phenomenon occur into into the interpolar region interpolar region so that it can opposes each other that means the field generated by the interpoles produce the same effect as the compensating fold and which cancel the armature reaction for all values of load current by causing a shift of the neutral plane which i have suggest opposite to the shift caused by armature reaction and this amount of shift caused by the interpol is equal to the shift caused by armature reaction since both shifts are a result of armature current now for generator this uh, neutral plane shift in the direction of rotation thus the conductor undergoing commutation have the same polarity of the voltage as the pole they just leave so which pole they just leave it has the same polarity for generator okay and for motor the neutral plane shift opposite to the 
opposite to the direction of rotation for motor the neutral plane shift opposite to the direction of the rotation and the conductor undergoing commutation have the same flux as the main pole are approaching they are going to approach so to oppose the reactance voltage the interpole must have same polarity as the previous main pole so what is to conclusion we have drawn for generator for generator the polarity of interpole must be same as that of the the polarity of interpole must be same as that of the next main main pole further ahead further ahead in the direction of rotation the polarity of interpole must be same as that of the next main pole further ahead in the direction of rotation and for motor the polarity of interpole polarity is opposite to the opposite to the next main pole in the direction of rotation so it is motor it is same for generator so for generator it is same for motor it is opposite so this commutating winding are all connected in series with each other and with the armature circuit and a resistor is connected in parallel to the commutating winding and is permanently set in the factory to give the commutating pole strength that result in the best commutation and this register is known as shunting register and most of the current goes through this commutating pole only a small amount of current going through this shunting register okay since the armature reaction increase when the armature load current increase the effect of the commutation commutating poles interpoles also increases and result that the neutral or commutating pole is maintained in the fixed position to the load position now with this method of correction some distortion of field still remain because the commutating field being small and it is in first i have told it is a narrow pole so it's not completely effective in correcting the distortion of the vicinity of the main pole tips and this is true for high power compact machine such as submarine propulsion so this is the basic concept of interpole so in this class i have just give an overall idea or overall uh, conception about that compensating winding and the interpole but the details of the working out compensating winding and interpole has not discussed in this lecture class and in our syllabus we have only the concept of compensating winding and interpole winding which i have described in this lecture but the details how this compensating winding and interpolar uh, interpolar commutating pole works 
to neutralize the effect of armature reaction the details i will discuss in my other lecture so for the details apart from this basic concept you can contact my lecture classes for get is preparation so that is also has in my youtube channel so if you like my videos you subscribe subscribe in my youtube channel and you can increase your further knowledge in this machine or any other subject also the competitive examination preparation so this is all about today's class of basic concept of compensating winding and interpol and these are the reference book you refer for your further study also you can contact the digital content which is available in internet so this is end of today's class thank you very much students